This was the location of my first big rain camp. My tarp was right between these two trees, coming up over his top. The tent was here. So everybody in the comments who told me this was a terrible place to set up, that was correct. All right, well, I'm back in the spot where I made that uh, beginnings of that little fort and it is totally flooded out. Not only is it flooded, more rain is coming. I don't know how I always seem to pick those spots, but the good thing here is that because so much of it is flooded, I can look around and I can find an area that is not flooded. So, I've gotta do that first. Um, I'm gonna have a look around and see if we can find a, an optimal spot here. Okay, so we're running short on time. I'm trying to make the best call I can. I uh, scouted around. It rained last night, um, so there are puddles. So it kind of gives me an indication of where water is going to form. This is all dry except for the surface of it, which uh, tells me that hopefully water will not collect in this area. I got a ground sheet and everything. We're going to go ahead and get the um, tarp set up. And once we get the tarp set up, then I'm gonna get the fire started right away because the rain is coming in and I gotta get that fire going, otherwise I'm not gonna be able to. Let's get it going.
Well, that should be enough while I go around and gather. Here it comes. I don't want to get too far into the camping trip before I take a little nip off the old banana flask. Next step here is to gather up some firewood and get it under the tarp. Not a bad little start there.
I'm gonna go ahead and give this fire a nice boost here. Go ahead and process up some of these sawed logs here. This is where an axe would come in handy. Still haven't gotten that axe fixed yet. But I do have a plan. So hopefully I'll have that for you by the next video. Unfortunately, no matter how far out you get, people just really like to leave the garbage behind. And we got this stuff. I don't even know exactly what this is. It's like a, it's like a paper. If you think you know what this is, Leave me a message in the comments, I'd love to hear from you. Since I only got one plastic bag, and it's the one my beer came in, give me an excuse to get the beer out. Today we got, uh, Rheinheiss uh, Snowcat. It's a winter white ale with ginger and grapefruit peel. Good stuff. a steak to cook on the coals and I froze it so it would keep and it is still absolutely frozen solid <sighs> and I don't feel like building a thing above it in the rain to defaw it so we're gonna have to hold on to this We'll use that another time. I did bring some bacon. That was meant to be for the morning. And I also have asparagus that was meant to go with the steak. But I got a backup kind of emergency pack of mixed nuts. So the mixed nuts are gonna be breakfast. And for dinner tonight, I'm going to be having bacon and asparagus.
<sighs> well, it was just bacon, no asparagus. <laughs> Sometimes it goes like that. Not always a lot you can do about it. I think I'm running out of stuff to do. You know, I'm running out of stuff to film. I'm just gonna sit around and mess with this fire um, for another however long I feel like it. Have another couple beers. Probably hit the hay, I'm exhausted. Uh, I was up at six o'clock this morning prepping for this. Um, not sure when you'll see this, but this is New Year's Day. So I got up at New Year's Day on 6 a.m. to do this. Before I go, I want to send a shout out to a YouTuber. You know, I like to do that. Um, especially like the new and upcoming YouTubers. New person I've been watching a lot called uh, Strange Strange Camping. Blah, 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 blah. Strange Camping with Dan. I'll link his channel in the description, but he's doing like just weird, interesting, a lot of mostly stealth camps, it seems like, but he's got a great personality and he's a, a really fun channel. Anyway, he's a really, really fun watch, so give him a try. I'll link him in the description. Strange Camping with Dan. Whew. I always got to shout out my boy, Kevin over at Small Plots. What's up, Kevin? I know the people uh, really enjoy it, so Kevin and I will uh, work out another trip here soon in the next few months or so. Kevin, I'll get in touch with you, bud. Well, if there's anything cool left to film, I'll definitely show it to you. Otherwise, I'm gonna putz around for a little bit and go ahead and hit the hay. See you in the morning. This is not the way I was hoping things were gonna go. I got, let's see how I can explain this here. First of all, I'm leaving. Not only am I leaving, I'm hiking out a very long hike in the middle of the night. I definitely would not do that unless I really, really had to do it. There was like a very tiny little root pushing up. I was cleaning out the area here to camp on and I missed it as I was laying on my sleeping pad I felt something pushing into me the root pushed up through my ground sheet through my foam mattress through and punctured a hole into my inflatable sleeping pad it is gonna get down to high 20s Fahrenheit so I can't be sleeping directly on the ground. I could just be risking all kinds of things by doing that. It's a long hike out and it's dark, but because of the time of year, it's not that late. It's a quarter after eight. So I gotta get everything packed up here and I gotta hit the road, but you guys are gonna come along with me and we're gonna have a fun time because we are now going to be hiking through the woods in the pitch black dark. So this is gonna be a whole different kind of adventure. I'll take you with me on this one too. Gotta make sure we take the trash.
This is what we call a rush job here. Okie dokie. To the best of my ability, I'm trying to show you. I did not leave anything here. There was some garbage that I found here and I took it with me. I'm trying to leave the place better than I found it. Oh boy. Well, this is gonna be fun. <sighs> this. This is real fun. Completely off trail. So this is a real blast. This is what we were looking for. Whew. Now, depending on how fast they hike, I've got uh, half an hour to 45 minutes of hiking in complete darkness. Adventure. Here's the bend where I hang a right. So thank goodness. I didn't miss it in the dark. This is very exciting. Very exciting. Oh, no big deal. Just walking down a muddy trail all by myself in the middle of the night. Pitch black dark. This is how fun works. Just kind of wanted to get a shot of this at night. This is an old, kind of forgotten cemetery. These graves are like, I don't know, a couple hundred years old. I did an overnight in that cemetery. If you're new to the channel, you might not have seen that one. I'll link that in the description, or maybe I'll put a card up here. But if you think that would be an interesting camp to see again, I've been meaning to go back to that spot. Um, it was a really cool camp. So if you'd like to see an overnight in that uh, graveyard, let me know in the comments. Also, don't forget to click that banana. Okay. Back here, we got the trail on the right. And we get the trail straight over there, way to a bridge. But this is the way I came, and this is where my car is. We're getting there. We are getting there. <sighs> it's just like more of this, more of this. Just ready to be out of here. And there we go. There's the car.
Okay, I think that that looks like it works. That's about the best way to do this because uh, the dome light just went out in my car. So um, anyway, I appreciate everybody uh, who stuck this far into the video. Um, it's a bummer that I had to leave. I didn't want to, but um, uh, I will be out again soon. You know, I'm not an expert. I certainly don't claim to be an expert. I'm a camping enthusiast and I love the outdoors. Um, so things don't always go to plan, you know, uh, on my channel <laughs> seems to be a semi-regular uh, occurrence, but um, you know, we do the best we can. So um, I will catch you all again soon. Thank you so much uh, for watching the video. I'll catch you on the next one. Hey everybody. I'm just getting gear organized for my next uh, overnight that I'm prepping for now. I just wanted to do a quick recap on that uh, video. If it wasn't clear, what happened was there was a tiny root that I missed when I was clearing out the campsite and it was just a little pokey that came up. I mean, it was maybe two, three inches or so, but there was leaves and, and brush and debris. I didn't see it. I put the mat down. I put the sleeping mat down. And that thing came up and it punctured through the foam mat and it punctured through the air mattress. And because of how cold it was going to get, I thought I was probably not going to be insulated well enough. Make it through the night. If I was really in an emergency situation, I could have piled up leaves. Um, I could have piled up uh, small twigs and, and it would have been an uncomfortable night, but I could have got myself off the ground. Um, there's different things I could have done. Um, however, given the fact that I was only about 35, 40 minutes hike from the car. I decided that the smartest thing to do was just go ahead and uh, hike my way out, which I did. There was a break in the rain, so I was able to get out. I didn't want anybody to think I was cutting grain wood. Um, you know, I always try to take care of the campsite. Uh, I always try to pick up trash when I see it. Uh, you guys see me doing that in the videos. It means a lot to me to kind of uh, try to take care of nature and the woods and uh, leave them in a better place than I found them. I do have a sponsor that I'm very excited to be working with for this video. The sponsor for this video is a website called REN. REN is a website that lets you calculate your carbon footprint and then offset it by funding projects that plant trees and protect rainforests. When you sign up for REN, you get to see monthly updates from projects that you support. You'll actually get to see the trees that are planted and what your money is spent on. I really like the biochar project in California. This project helps prevent wildfires in California's old growth forests by removing dead and flammable trees. For a long time, California has been ravaged by wildfires. This sucks because California is home to some of the most beautiful old growth forests in the country. For the first 100 people who use the referral link in my description box, they will have an extra 10 trees planted in their name. Thanks again to Ren for sponsoring the video. Thanks to all of you for watching. And I'll catch you on the next one.